Welcome back, nerds. This is the fourth and final round. We got Ray on the left here, is undefeated, like usual. Bum, bum, bum. Peter on the right, he's only been playing for like two months. Yeah. And he's, he's literally never played the deck before tonight that he's playing, so. Yeah. So. I told him if he beats me, he gets all of my prize. It's true, <laughs> facts. Ray said that. So. Yeah, got a lot on the line here. <laughs> I want that promo. Not really. I also moved the microphone much closer to Ray so that yeah. it's easier for him to flip cards next to it. Yeah. You like that, you two? Give you a good snap when you play it. Oh, that was a good Ooh, snap. Nice. All right, let's go. All right, let go. Sounds better in person. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Play this pathway. Elf. Green. Yep. Dork. Here go. That's a good one. Got We also both know what we're playing. He's playing red, green mid-range stompy stuff, and I'm playing Karugo Fires, FYI. Also, for the comments that are going to happen when they say, like, quit shuffling the cards in your hand like you're on the Pro Tour, ha! <laughs> it was on the Pro Tour. That is a factual statement. <laughs> you have to make sure they can't track where your cards are. That's right. All right. Also, it sounds so crisp and clean. It does. Uh oh That's a good one. Yes. Oh, wait, that's not my tokens. Those are my tokens. All right. Dork. Gobble. Yeah. See, it is the Gobbo deck. <laughs> Alright, your go. Right, draw. Let's see. Great. Play Forest. And I will pass to you. Yep, you draw first. It's main phase. Oh, I do draw yeah. first before that. Yeah, does yeah. that? Oh. Yep, you draw on this first thing, main phase. All right. Good to know. Thank you. Uh, Things you actually can't let your opponent forget. Yes. I'm okay. the Eidolon guy, guys. It's the first time I ever play with that card, too. So like, It's kind of like when you're playing with the Chalice of the Void deck. Yeah. Like, they put it on one and you just these test two. them. Right. You know, you cast that lightning bolt. You <laughs> see if they counter it. They can miss that trigger. They can. You uh, challenge check. See what's exactly. going on over there. Yeah. And you do it with confidence. You're like, and step a lightning bolt. You're like, okay, take three. Yep, you're like, nice. On tap. <laughs> Wait a minute. Too late. <laughs> Play immutable. Yep. Uh, chariot? Question mark? Wolf? Storm yes. Seeker. Alright, um. Hate that card so much. Uh, so it is daytime. That happens regardless. Yep. Uh-oh. All right, and... Thinking about going to combat, so we're still in your main phase. Yeah. Uh, what do I want to do? Right, well, I'm just going to do this now. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's pretty obvious I already tapped it. Sure. Uh, you have one card? I do have one so card. Yeah. Let's think. That happens. That's so bad. I'm just going to beat that. Yep, fair enough. Take them. Yep. All right. Uh, swing at you for two. Yep. Take mm -hmm. two. Make my token. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Here we go. Right. Actually, I'm, I'm going to ask you a question sure. since you were on the Pro Tour. Yeah. <laughs> so, is it actually a bad idea to do that on the main phase like that, or... I don't know, because you have other things in hand, so I don't know. Because, like, I think you just take that no matter what, so I don't know if it matters that much or whatever. Right, yeah. Me hesitating on this means that I may have other things to do. I could be bluffing you, too, but something's definitely going on. Doing that main phase doesn't really matter. Uh, one mana is not going to be detrimental to the game, so if you do a main phase, I just know that you have no other play, but one green doesn't really tell. If you leave green up, they might think you have, like, Tamiya's safekeeping or something. Yeah, Got or it. you can <laughs> pay something for two, which I know that deck list, like, at most, if you're playing, like, very similar, it's probably, like, Love Sucker Beast or something, but yeah, it's not too inconsequential. It's definitely better sequencing, so overall it's better. But at the end of the day, it's, it's, it really doesn't matter. It's better to play a second main, right? Yeah. Okay. Uh, and then uh, I'm gonna pass to you, and it's technically night. Okay. Ray, the only person in the entire world that can keep track of day night. <laughs> <laughs> Importante. Oh. Uh, okay. Yeah, draw. And draw, then and then this moves up. Yep. Make my dork. I might die. I don't know about that. I'm doing not much. 
So, unfortunate. So, uh, the best thing. Okay, I'm gonna set this. Bring out Moodable. Yikes! Sure. All right. Uh, when you go to combat, to before count. you attack, I'm gonna stomp the Moodable. Fair enough. Adventure. Yep. Chill. You got adventure thingy? Nice. Thank you, man. Just gonna do this. Yay! On an adventure. Yep. All right. No blocks. Two, four. Yep. All right. Fourteen. All right. Uh, make another. Yeah, I probably played this wrong. Yeah, I definitely played this wrong, but that's fine. I'll learn eventually. All right, play mountain. Here you go. You even have lessons in your sideboard. <laughs> <laughs> All right, now I'll take two. Uh, go to twelve. I'm gonna verdict. See, so you think you're gonna do? Okay. Yep. And then I passed you. Oh, yep. <coughs> Never mind. Oh, uh, on your end step, tap to stomp your face. Stomp the yard for the 10. Wherever your 10 is. Somewhere. There it is. Alright, right. on tap. Some draw. Alright. Yeah. Oh, love truck. Very uh, nice. Make my human. That's a good one. Uh, just gotta think about this for a sec. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna ask you questions too. Sure. So yeah, you're fine. I'm kind of wondering like whether or not it, like love struck beast is a bigger dude, but bone crusher giant is also like I don't know. So on this, if I kill this, then this shuts down to yeah. my attack. Yeah. So, it's so really like just this seems like better value. To be yeah. honest. Um. It's one of those things where, like, it's really depending on what you're trying to be, how aggressive, because I am at 10. So if you play Love Strike Beast and I don't kill that, that thing's going to be a pretty big threat because this is on board. If you play this instead, I can play this and just block that, you play that, and then I have more outs to drawing that. So it's really just depending on how aggressive you actually want to get. Um, I feel like you being at 10 and, like, the fact that you're playing two Fires of Invention, it's probably a really good idea to just be aggressive. Yeah, you're definitely casting one of them. It just... Is up to you on which one. I, it's hard for me to look at it in a vacuum because I literally know what's in my hand. Yeah. <laughs> and it's it's going to be rough for you. But it doesn't matter. You can play whichever one. I would just pay with both of these, though. Pay with both yeah, of those? Yeah, I could play Karn. That's true. Oh, yeah. I'm baiting you. <laughs> don't, don't do it. Don't do it. Okay. <laughs> I don't play Karn. <laughs> I was like, I don't know what you play in your deck. It's true. You don't, but I will tell you. That is not ideal. Probably not, yeah. This might be too much information. Probably not, but if I you play the that. Bone Crusher and he doesn't kill the 1-1, one, one, it's a two-turn clock either way. Right. <clears throat> well, so this is coming down to block if I don't have any turn. So yeah. this is on board to yeah, be able to trade with that. Um, but the 5-5 five, five is going to be able to attack through this, and if I destroy that, then he's kind of one turn behind. So it's, it's really just depending on if he believes I can kill that. Anyway. You have four cards in hand. Worst case scenario, I can chump block the 5-5 five, five and take one, so right. it's not the end of the world for me if that's my only play. Yeah. I will tell you I play four, eight. I think I'm gonna eleven removal spells. Uh, I think, so. I I think that's safer. Sure. You didn't use the treasure though, I'm sad. He used one. Yeah, but yeah, two. One. Oh yeah. You know what? I should have, you know. You're gonna play card next. <laughs> I'm turn. telling you, bro, it's coming. <laughs> Alright, sorry. Your go. You don't want to attack for one? Oh. Oh, oh yeah, that did not come. Oh, yeah, I, I just played that. Yeah. yeah, that's my fault. Alright, uh so this is technically daytime now. But I don't have the thing. To be honest, I'm not playing Storm yeah. Seeker for the this. The plus two plus up? Yeah. Could be rather good. So I decide I will play a better card and I'm math. Uh, okay, I don't blue. know what this does. Uh, it's pretty cool. Comes in play, I draw a card, and then landfall. It has a lot of crazy abilities. First land, I play every turn, or that comes into play rather, is going to gain me four life. The second land that comes into my play under the same turn is going to give me four mana. The third one is going to deal four damage. Uh, to you and I believe Planeswalkers. Um, okay. Essentially, I just gain four a lot with this deck. Every now and then I will make mana. I never do the last move. Just saying. Okay. Uh, so it comes into play. I draw a card. Yep. Fair enough. Uh, and then I'll play a Triumph. Trigger. Gain four. All right. 14. And pass to you. Well, that's a... Uh, yep. That's a 
Very wise that I'm textless on that. Ah, oh, man. So that one. Did you not get your fourth? Uh, I did not. No, I only won three of them. But I did get rid of all three. So, unfortunately. Three. I guess with the price tag. Yeah, on that's where some of these lands came from. Yeah. Uh, and like you don't the, like playing with foils anyways. No, no. Like the, the Infinity lands was in one of the trades, which is pretty cool because essentially no one ever wants to get rid of those when they have them. Are you attacking me? Oh, well, actually, yeah, I'll attack you. All right, so interesting. Why would you think about the one one? I'll just say four. Go ten. All right. The beast. The beast. Yep. All right. And drop land. Here go. All right. Tab draw. Oh, this thing. It made me wonder if that was like wrong to not attack with the human, but like, no, if there's you, if no attack, point to like, like you're just you're gonna representing Embercleave or some type of pump spell. I'm gonna call it. every time just because I don't believe people. Um, <laughs> <laughs> but two plus four mana or three and a treasure with one card in hand could be yeah. Embercleave, but I'm just gonna be like, whatever, do it or not. Got it. It kind of times walks you at that time, too, so I really it's not the worst thing for me. But people make those type of plays a lot, and it's just like, this is probably not as good as you think it is, or it's not as hidden, too. Some people think they're so clever. <laughs> no, nope, uh, everyone knew it was there, including me. I mean, creature, 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 cleave isn't that, yeah. that cool of a start? <laughs> I play a haster and attack with four creatures, leaving two up, question mark. Wow, these are really bad attacks, I wonder. <laughs> uh, speaking of bad attacks, let's do... Fable. All right. Uh, trigger, I don't actually have the token. Um, so I will use a thing, a face over card. Channel Fireball. I don't know, this is probably easier. Do I do like Channel, fi channel Fireball. So yeah. CFB. Uh, land for turn, trigger, gain four. Yeah, he does cool things. And yeah. then uh, I am satisfied. Oh, yeah. Oh, man. All right. I kind of don't see a way I even win this, to be honest, at this point. So late in the game, your board has so much value. I'm gonna gain a lot of life. That's okay. Yeah. I'm gonna bring this in my hand. Sure. Alright. I don't know what's in your deck, but I feel like you could have. Like, do something with I attack, so I'm playing Muda Vault. I mean, I feel like there's. I, I literally have no idea what you would play. Yeah. Just so I'm just gonna see what happens. Combat? I'm gonna move to combat. Yeah, okay, four. sorry. I'm gonna kill you one, one. All right. Oh, okay. Yeah. Fair enough. Alright, you can go. Well, then I probably would have played differently. I'll hit for four. Four. Uh, yep, that's fine. Go to ten. Alright. You're good. I'm ready. Because a copy. Is eight, so the thing that gives things Did you play this spell? Is, is yeah. three. Oh, so no, I just dropped land. Yeah. And no, he puts two oh, yeah. Oh, oh, oh yeah. Okay. Does so that count as casting the spell? No. no. That's why. All right, so it's technically nice. All right, draw, trigger. I will discard. Yeah, which are, they're useful, and like, you know, when, they, when you can add them, so it doesn't matter at this point, but I will discard a swamp. Okay. Draw one. I have no idea how to evaluate this board state, like literally at all. Hmm. Is it my lands? It's because my lands are crazy? <laughs> yeah, your lands are just crazy. I don't know what they are. It's because I have no idea what your lands are. Yeah. I don't know either. Half the time. Like, I discarded a blast source. I haven't got a blast source. Probably a mistake. Uh, I'll play fire. Yep. One spell remaining. I'll play land for turn, trigger game four. For, for yep. 14. It's, it's such a nut, it's and such then. A better not channel it's things like on my it's turn. Like when YouTube it's comments are going to get mad. It's just like such a awesome. good. I'm, I'm just going to play Bone Crusher. Yep. And then. Oh, wait. Can you play. Can't you just play both of them? No. No, because this counts oh. as one spell. So oh, the second got spell it. is this one now. Got it. Uh, play that and. Uh, go ahead. Now it's daytime. I have five mana. I have the, the treasury, and then I can play the knuckles. I play it. Oh, yeah. So you can actually. One, one. My dork. 
too many things for that guy. Alright, move to combat. Sure. Swing with the dorks. Oh, wait, hold on. Let me think about that for a sec. Sure. Is there a point to not do that? I mean, I guess you could double block Love Struck by kill both your things. Or you double block with this and that and kills Love Struck. But at the same time, I feel like it's bad to just not. I don't know. I gotta think about that for a sec. Mm -hmm. But if you do double block, I do get that off the board. Thanks. I think I'm just gonna see what happens. Right, I'm gonna block and double block this way. Okay. So these would trade. Yep. I wanna kill Nerd, but okay. you might have another one in hand, but. And I got my dude. Yep. And second main phase. You got it. Ah. Mm hmm. Here we go. All right. I'm about to get Supreme Verdict. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe. Depends on what I draw. It was not. Oh, uh, this triggers. Did Bone Crusher block Bone Crusher? Yeah, oh, yep. I'm so sorry. Nice. Wow, trying to get down on me? That's crazy. <laughs> I can't believe you do that to me. <laughs> right. I was like, did I miss something? I don't think I did. Yeah. No, I, was like, I just I mean, was not paying attention. Yeah. It's like when you attack me and you took one damage you? yourself. <laughs> A lot of cool <coughs> stuff going on. They have so many sick news. Mm. Maybe making this too hard on myself, but it doesn't matter. I'm definitely playing this. I'm definitely playing that, and then that's probably you know, consequential at that point. So, all right, first spell, Kenrith. Uh -huh. uh, I'm going to. I'm actually so. Yeah, sorry. Um, I'm curious about how far. Bard's Invention can only do for casting spells, right? You still have... I have to pay all these mana costs, yeah. Got it. Okay. Yep. That's all I was going to I can just spell. pay a uh, seven drop, basically. Yeah. Um, so. All right, well, that's bad for me. Yeah. Got all the mana. Um, so he's in play. I will spend three mana and put Kruger in my hand. Yep. Second spell, I'll cast Kruger. Draw one, two, three, four, five. Uh, nope. One, two, three, four. Yep. I think that's probably game. And then... Let's see. I'm gonna attack trigger, make a treasure. All right. Uh, I, no reason not to yeah, block. So, uh, so this is my treasure. I'm gonna use it. Yep. So that's fine with me. Uh, I'm gonna spend four in a black. Uh, activate Omnath. Bring back. Or sorry, activate camera to bring back Omnath. Yep. Uh, trigger draw card. Yep. And then land for turn. Gain four. Go yep. to 18. And pass you. All right. We can go next. Not a lot I can do about that. I was gonna do some cool stuff. I do want to see cool stuff, are but you, are you gonna play tip off? <gasps> I could. <laughs> I had seven. <laughs> Man, I'm so sad. But Tibble did make an appearance, though, so I was happy. That was like the perfect last turn. Tibble, let's go. Everyone thought it was so much different. It's like, nope. I just drew the card that I wanted to draw when it didn't really matter. But he was gonna make an appearance. It was gonna be sweet. I shall reveal my hippo. Okay. Keepo, keepo, keepo. But you just keep that adventure token. Oh, nice. You're gonna need to. I will. I also have to go find tokens for this deck. I didn't realize how many tokens this deck makes, like treasures and stuff. I wish like Aetherhub would give you a list of tokens that are used on yeah. the list, but I don't know of any websites that do that. So, can I ask for the stats on that Maybe nerdy guy? The, the big, the, the elemental. Yeah. Huh, okay. That's all I wanted to know. He does. Kenny's a 5-5, five, five, right? Kenny is, yeah. This is uh, a good one. Yeah. Uh, right. top. That's the other guy. Cool. Thank you. Yeah, yeah. I will not be signing him out, so you're more than welcome to read him over. Yeah, I can't imagine you would. <laughs> <laughs> they will be there. Okay. Fair enough. Um... I hope you don't mind me asking a ton of questions. No, so. no. By all means.
Do they make fancy versions of companions? I don't know. Like alternate ones? There's probably ex like extended art or whatever. Oh, gotcha. But, but nothing like uh, like the showcase ones. No, I don't think. So. I don't think there's like full art or borderless or whatever. Lame. Six or seven. I think he's the only companion I've ever actually played in paper. Oh. Uh, uh, probably for something. Yeah. Might have played yeah, Lurus once. Oh, and he got that for Niv. It's okay, I lied. Yeah, I play companions more than I thought. My favorite companion deck with that card is the Paradox Engine deck. What does that do? Uh, whenever you cast a spell, you untap uh, all non land permanents. So you can just kind of go crazy by playing stuff and doing other stuff. And yeah. There's a uh, Just Guy Ascendancy, which is an enchantment. Whenever you cast a non creature spell, uh, you can untap all your creatures, and they get plus one on your turn, and then you can draw a card, discard a card. Oh, wow. So it uses a lot of cantrips, pumping stuff. Play Sylvan Awakening or uh, Land of War, or something, something. The two drop that makes a uh, three-three land. It just keeps pumping on stuff. Yeah. It's basically just a five-five in my Niv deck. Every now and then I use cast Niv, but overall, just a five-five. Do you play a lot of MTGO? Yeah. Um, it waxes and wanes. I used to play a lot, a lot, a lot, like ten hours a day. Oh wow. Yeah. But I mean, I guess if you want to be really good, that's what you got to do. Yeah, and it's also when you start trying to play against better players, it's really hard um, if there's not a lot of good local players. Like, there's fine players, but yeah. you need to play against, like, top-tier players. And if I had all the time in the world, then I would, you know, be more interested in playing with, you know, people that were a little bit lower. But for the most part, there's a lot of high skill level on Moto um, just because of uh, the accessibility. A lot of people, like in Russia, for instance, in Brazil, that are in remote locations can't ever really get to join anywhere, but they're just praying for a living. But um, I kind of want to like start trying to find people in like the Liberty Discord to like play Cockatrice with. Yeah, so. I use that a lot, especially uh, when new sets come out before they're on Moto. Uh, it's pretty good. The software can be kind of faulty, but it's pretty so. Have you tried X Mage? I have yeah. not. No, that that, I like, think like the only thing that play X Mage I know is like Yu-Gi-Oh. People, I, 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 it's like uh, <coughs> I play Yu-Gi-Oh and I don't think Flesh and Blood's on there, but for sure Yu-Gi-Oh. That's where I've only basically had played it like a long time ago, like five, six years ago, he's used X-Mage, and it was pretty decent, but yeah. I don't know if they've kept it up or not. Yeah, I played a lot of uh, Apprentice, a lot of MWS, and then Cockatrice when that came out, and then kind of just gravitated towards Moto. Uh, I don't know if this hand is bad. I'm just going to try it, so. Oh, well, I will not keep my, <laughs> my hand's good if you don't do anything for three turns. Would you have done something? Probably. I don't know. Dork. Yeah. Dork, dork. You're definitely doing something turn Dork, dork, dork. Would dork. you keep a hand without a one drop? I don't know. Right. <laughs> this is the first night playing the deck. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I, would, I would, let's see, I would guess that you have 12, 4 left drops, and 8 elves. That is correct. So, yes. Yeah. I guess it's kind of hard to, uh, to not have one. I, it's more I like, I don't think this hand is good, but I want to try it. Gotcha. So... Alright, let's do it. I will keep. Alright. Good luck. Here. Well, because you put me in a spot. Here go. I crave it. I see. Yeah. I wanted to try it, so. I do not mind. Nothing like I can't win. I play my I already know I have no hope right now, so. I just got lucky. My brain got it. Uh, play the sun red. I had to go to the craze. I had to find something like or like or get flying or something. You know, or Go ahead. Oh, sorry. You're Go gonna ahead. crack that? No. Or, no? no. Okay. I don't know I just how that didn't works. play my second land. Got it. Uh, I was definitely playing a land, but it's not the land that I wanted to play. No, I'm not cracking that. Got it. Okay. I got, I got plans. Got plans. Plans. Uh, 
I literally, I guess I'll swing at you for two. Second main phase. Stuck in ground. Oops, sorry. <laughs> 13, that's a big ooze. That was a crazy game right there. Oh, wait, hold up. I'll play this and do that. I nothing else to do with my man. I'll put Jacanto in hand. Sure. Your go. All right. Go ahead. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Yeah. No, it was it was life or death. Play this on green. Yep. Uh, and cats. Yep. No boats yet. Go for that. Go to 16. Yep. You're good, I'm not doing anything. Oh, got it. Alright, uh, you're go. Oh. Oh, cut. I'm sorry. I did not hear you. Drop. Another cat. Which one? Why are you talking? Oh, oh, uh, which cat? Uh, oh, okay. Uh, this one. I'm gonna discard this and take all that to EOT. Okay. And then take some. Yep. Let's go. This, oh yeah. It's just, oh yeah. Yeah, it's just gone forever. Yep. Fair enough. Uh, Alright, second main phase. Mono War Elf. Just trying to think about this for a sec. Is, I'm a little afraid of playing into Supreme Verdict. Yeah, no blue. Oh, you don't have. Well, you could have blue in hand then. I missed two land drops. Oh, that's true. You, you could draw it. That's what I'm scared about. You know, fuck it. I don't think I need it. This is verdict. And this is my blue source. Yeah. Yeah. Uh huh. Do I trust him, Matt? Probably. I don't think I trust him. I have three. I'm not in my hand. It's gonna get real crazy. You know, you either have it or you don't have it. Something he said is true. <laughs> <laughs> I, I believe you have Supreme Verdict in hand. All my statements are factual. Yeah. <laughs> this Only is my facts. blue source. This is my verdict. And I have three on that. Uh, okay. All right, your go. All right. Let's do it. Nice. Oh, boy. Yeah. I'm about to get absolutely... Okay. It's not a blue source. That is not a blue source, and not enough mana to even play it anyways. Uh, let's sigh. Uh, yeah, past you. Got a whole lot of nothing going on over here. You used to fetch land. I did. You cast did. one spell. No, I didn't even cast it. I discarded it. <laughs> oh, channeled it. Yeah. I not activated casting. two abilities this game. And declined a trigger. Then you use your three mana to put Karuga in your hand. Ah, oh, dang it. Alright, well, I won't go back. That's okay. Tilt. Full <laughs> tilt. Crew the nerd. Yikes. 
All right, I suppose. <sighs> Going to combat? Yeah. Uh, before you attack. Oh, yep. Play line. All right. Keep that. Yep. You got it. All right. All right. Uh, Good to go. Attack away. Go to four. All right, and second main phase. More boats and carries. Here go. Okay. Nice, nice. It doesn't matter. Fires. Okay. That's my blue source. Yep. This is my verdict. Yep. And that's my choice. All right. All right. Uh. Shock this in. Giganto. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Crew. Mm -hmm. Four. Death. All right. Womp womp. These are my three omnets. Oh, okay. That was not a lie. I thought you were completely. <laughs> I thought you were joking. <clears throat> Told you. I had a red source of verdict, three omnets. But I unfortunately did not draw, don't tap land to play my blue source. Or yeah. Sorry, rather, I had a blue source, not a red source. This close. Yeah. The second chariot was sad for me. Just playing against you makes me nervous. It's like, <laughs> what are you doing over there? Ooh, nothing. Just nothing. I'm just out to sea. Have you ever won an RCQ? Um, no. There's no. only this. Uh, the first season was last season, and I top eighted uh, six or seven of them. Did you top eight with this? No. No, uh, I top eighted Modern, Pioneer, Limited. So all You're going to top eight win. and win one tomorrow. Right? Yes. Where are you Guaranteed. playing tomorrow? Uh, in RCQ. I don't want to say location. <laughs> this video won't be live until like Thursday. Okay. Uh, RCQ in Ann Arbor. Oh, cool. I'm going to push this live tonight. It's like if it no! was in Lansing, I'd come to watch. <laughs> no, no, no. It's in Ann Arbor. Yeah, it's, it's limited. So guaranteed to top eight just because um, I'm that confident. Draft is kind of whack sometimes. When you're drafting... Uh, at this format in particular, because of how open everything is, and yeah. the splashing is so crazy, people just kind of mess up the draft sometimes. Not like they're doing it on purpose, but it ends up ruining things when they don't, they're kind of indecisive, and they don't make good choices, and then they kind of back, uh, you know, they take like a black card, and then take some blue green, and then they like take a white card, and then they go back to black, and then back to white, and they kind of just, like... They don't know how to really focus on what they're actually drafting as an archetype, and it kind of just ruins everything else. Or it could work in my favor heavily. Yeah. Um, which I've seen that happen at the, the RCQs where I was drafting archetypes that unfortunately did not pan out. And then the one that I lost in the finals, he had a crazy domain deck, which made sense because the other people were not really on domain. They were like on two, sometimes three colors. But um, yeah, it was, it was not great for me. My deck is a hodgepodge. Uh, I'll be on the plate. Yep. Yep. All right, hold up. Oh boy. This is. Oh man. I guess I'll try it. Uh, it's pretty bad, but it's technically I need to choose first, but Oh, is that how that works? Yeah, we were, we were oh, I did not know that either. Yeah, But this hand's basically a mulligan of six, so it might be free. Alright, whatever. Go ahead. YOLO. YOLO. There's only your entire prize on the list. <laughs> I need it. The beast. The beast. Mm -hmm. All right, here you go. Uh, 
Take two. Go ahead. So that's just dead. Yep. Or, yep. Don't come back. All right, and second main phase. Drop mood vault. Your go. Good. My face? Yeah. That's on the field? Yep. I will also say this, because you're a newer player, that is the most terrible way to draw a card. You tip your hand so far down. Oh. Yeah. Okay. Yep, so I would just... No, I do it that way. I'm not looking, but I can see it out of the corner of my eye. And so, like, if I was sitting up taller, I can just see your whole hand every time you draw a card that way. Got it. Okay. Good to know. Thank you. Which is another thing. People give out free information like that all the time. Where they just don't understand, like, how their maneuvers or dexterity is working against them. Yeah. Huh. It's not cheating, if they're wondering. Yeah. I'm just looking, and you're just Yeah, I'm me. just showing you. Yeah. It makes sense. It's kind of like when people will cast a thought seize, and the yeah. opponent just immediately reveals their hand. Yep, and then it's like, oh, I actually... I was going to target myself now that I see there's four locks on so my Right. Yeah, like, mm -hmm. yeah, I don't like that. I guess I'll target myself. <laughs> Drop. Yep. Oh, I'm sure you saw what I drew, so... I didn't. Yeah, I'm sitting too far down. Oh, got yeah, it. If I was standing normal, I could see it. I so, could just see your, your hand go almost down, to the point that if I'm, like, up an inch or two, I could see. Okay. Um, just wondering about something then, yeah. um, like, what is the best way to draw? So, like, let's say this is my deck. Yeah. I would probably just take a card off, put it down, and then pick it up. Got it. Okay. Also, like, you'll notice Garrus and I do it that way so that you can tell it's only one card That's going to hand. Yeah. Okay. Because a lot of people will, not a lot of people, but there's there's cheaters out there who will try and, like, pick up two cards at once. And like, oh. And or when like you if have someone casts like a draw three, a lot of people will fan out so you can specifically see that there's only three cards there. Yep. Got but it. Some people will draw them so fast you're like, was there four? Yeah. All right. Uh, tap. Easy. Kitty. Huh? Kitty. Kitty. All right. Uh. Crew. Yep. Uh, give it haste. Mm -hmm. Uh, move. Or, well, I guess that's when I move to combat. Yep. Swing. Make a copy. I'm gonna block this. Yep. Take five. Go to ten. Alright. Here you go. So I'm going to try that next turn, you know, drawing the card the right way. You'll have to yeah. tell me if I did it right. For sure. Uh, play Castle. Yep. Uh, what do I want to do? Yeah. Too bad too. 
Yep. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Right. All right, let's see the hand draw. Oh, yeah. So, nope, see, I wouldn't even do that mechanic. I would draw with your other hand so you don't even have it a chance. Yep, exactly. Like this? Yep. And then put it down to the table? Yep, and then pick it up. Got it. Because yep. when you do this motion, you're naturally trying to tilt it just by the mechanics of it. Got it. And then it when you put it back also, into your hand. It may also be that your deck should be on the other side. That's true, too. Yeah, that's Depending just how you comfortably draw. Got it. So, see, I'm weird when I tap stuff and draw Well, you're left-handed, too. That's true. Yeah, so, so it kind of reverses everything. Yeah, I've had decks over here, and I draw that way for a little bit, and then I put it over here. I tried to draw. I'm right-handed, but if I draw with my right hand, I, like, knock the deck over. <laughs> <laughs> I have to draw with my left hand. Yeah, it's weird, too. I feel like with zones like this, it might be... We're better. basically mirrors. That's true. Because you're left-handed, but your deck's on the right. Yeah, people get really upset sometimes when I give them their deck back after I cut it, because I give it to them upside down. And I'm just like, sorry. <laughs> I'm cognizant of it, I'll give it to you the right way, but... See, when I shuffle my opponent's deck, I always put it down backwards and it tilts him every time. <laughs> Turn him sideways. <laughs> give him a wash. Pile count. Oh. Oh, okay. <laughs> uh. Don't know if this is correct, but I'm going to try it. Mm -hmm. Mood of Vault. Mm -hmm. Crew. Sure. Replace the explosion. Uh, move to yeah. combat. Mm -hmm. There you go. Swing. Make a copy of attack. Go to blocks. Yep. Block like that. Alright. Damage. Uh, two. Oh, wait, hold up. Okay, yeah, no, that is two. That is two. Yeah. My bad. Yeah. Good. Yep, good. we're good. Trades. Yep. All right. Uh, no stomp for you. No stomp for me. Second main phase. Marvel coil that. Yes. Uh, then land drop for turn. Uh, and turn. You know, if I win, I'm going to the Pro Tour. So, hey, more power to you. <laughs> I will never say that's a bad idea. They are phenomenal, and they're coming back. So, oh. perfect time. But is airfare included now? I don't know. I don't think it is. Yeah, I couldn't really navigate that website. Like the DreamHack thing, I was like, I went I can't to the DreamHack really website and I literally couldn't find a way to get to the Magic section to find out what Atlanta was about. <laughs> Yeah, it's, it's pretty awful. I don't know what, what's going on with that stuff. So, just such a losing line. I don't even think I have a better. I do this, that happens, that happens, that happens. Full verdict. Okay. And then pass you. This for a second. I'm kind of wondering about the play. Because to be honest, I don't know if it's a good idea to. Oh, wait, hold up. Do anything with one mana here, but probably not. 
Sorry, I'm just got to think about this. I'm just kind of wondering if I just shove damage. That's kind of what I'm thinking about. I mean, you are at eight, and the longer the game goes on, the more likely you are to win, so. Probably fast. At the same time, it just like feels so not mana efficient. I don't know if like, cause I'm just gonna talk all out cause we're just playing friendlies essentially. <laughs> it's like, I'm thinking about bringing out both the mood of alts and just hitting you for four. Or, like, I get to hit you with one mood of all, bring in Gigantha, but I guess that, like, sets me back a turn, because yeah, I can't play it the same turn. turn, to three turn. Yeah. So if you're going the aggressive line, you definitely want to put me on a two-turn clock if I have anything. Yeah, I think that's the play, to put you on a two-turn clock. I can't imagine it being anything else. Alright. Play this on green. Mm -hmm. Tap these two, bring out two Muda Vaults. Eight, or not eight, sorry, four. Go to four. All right, uh, here you go. No time. Oh. Yeah, no, I'm sure. You. My go? Yep. Someone might have a bone crusher today. I don't know. Do we want it? Do we want it? Do we want it? Do we want Overhanded draw versus underhanded draw. I think that's what we're doing. I, 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 it's just muscle memory at this point. Yeah. It's so hard to not do that. Yeah, I'm done. You're dying to have your Yeah. Um, play this on red. Two new vaults. Oh, Alright. Now I wonder if I bring out layer Hydra. I you mean, it also want to keep your hand up at all times. Oh, got it. Yeah. Sorry. You're good. Um, I mean, that's what I'm thinking about now, too, is if I bring out layer. I mean, it, it's one damage, but, like, what does that actually do? Just depends on the clock. I mean, I'd... I'd battle? Yep. We'll crush it. Yep. And then... Take two, go to two. Yep. All right. Uh, second main phase, bring this in my hand. Here we go. I'm guessing people do not talk out loud at all during. <laughs> Sometimes, it really just depends. Yeah. yeah. <clears throat> like, uh, if it's super competitive, a lot of people, it's just their personality. Some yeah. people talk to try and like distract their opponent. I've talked a lot when I was younger uh, in games that people just can't focus. I'd be keeping track of everything. And then they would make a misplay, and it's like, oh, sorry, you can't take that back. So, definitely uh, could be a thing. And I'll play this. Yeah. Should tap with. And, uh, Pestia. Goodbye, Adventure Zone. Sweet. Right. Draw. The most expensive card in the deck, other than we say Lava Coil? Trigger. Can you see it too? No, this is probably where like it actually might have mattered if I used later last turn, I guess. Sneaking in the one, it's a zero at this point. Because you pay one green now. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, you're right. Well, I mean, I could play another land and bring it in, but 
like that's why I'm thinking about it like you could just stomp again and like I've set myself back a turn so I mean I don't know yeah whatever <laughs> I don't know all right whatever mm -hmm. bring it in yep. one, one swing I will cast Leyline okay you came priority cast Leyline ooh okay good games doesn't hit lands wow <laughs> I was really confused there for a second. I'm like, hold up. Yeah. Right. Wow. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. Really good games. I really appreciate the information too. Yeah, for sure.